Do you know students with the highest grades in academics tend to score lowest in measures of creativity and independence? Most of our societies gives importance to bookish learning and grades much more compared to creativity. According to the norms, if you have a score above 90%, then you are intelligent and good boy or girl in the eyes of people in your society. On the other hand, a low scorer, suppose between 40 to 60 percent have no importance to them. Parents don't let their children play with them. They become a bad example for the society. People think they will be nowhere in their life and without a 9 to 5 job, they will fall behind from others. It is so irritating when you visit in some occasions and there comes the gossip of how his kid got 95% in his boards and how his neighbor's kid got 85. And suddenly, out of nowhere, you become the scapegoat in the gossip. People ask you how much person you got. Then you feel ashamed to tell them your score. It happens to most of us. And then you start thinking, I am a failure and I can't do anything in life. This thing grasps your self-confidence. But what I am going to tell you will completely change your point of view. A research paper co-authored by Nobel Prize winning economist James Heckman found that Personality is one of the most important predictors of success. Grades don't measure leadership or comfort with risk. Two traits that are essential to the highest echelon of business success. Additionally, a grade point average or GPA isn't an indicator of emotional intelligence or interpersonal skills like networking. It would be hard to go far in a career without this critical skills. As per study, most of the high scorers in schools and colleges have less creativity compared to the average scorers and almost 90% of them goes for a high package corporate job or in medical fields. There are a number of incredibly successful entrepreneurs who didn't allow their academic experiences to deter them from rising to the top. Dhiruvai Ambani is one example of it and there are many others from India. Steve Jobs never finished college. The same is true for Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates. Likewise, the youngest female billionaire in the world, Elizabeth Holmes, who is revolutionizing medicine, dropped out of Stanford to pursue her dreams. Richard Branson suffered from dyslexia dropped out of high school at the age of 15. There are countless examples. If I start pointing out each, it will take years 